Citizens of Columbus, do you want to know where your recycling goes? Well, here's your answer. And you might be surprised what an amazing place this is. It takes extra effort to separate your recyclables from your trash and carry that extra bin to the curb. So I thought you'd appreciate seeing the enterprising way that your city handles those materials, separates them into streams, compacts them into bales, and then puts them back into the manufacturing process. It all happens right here at the Columbus Consolidated Government's Recycling and Sustainability Center. Let's take a look inside. The name of the facility points to the fact that in addition to recycling, you can also learn all about sustainability. And while the experience is geared for students, it's a classroom for any age. I'm with Les Moore, and he manages all of the waste management programs for the city of Columbus. Why is capturing these materials important for the city of Columbus? Well, number one, Tom, it's the right thing to do. It helps the environment. Uh, number two, it forms jobs within Columbus and throughout the state of Georgia. But a big part of it is that all of this is kept out of the landfill. And that landfill is a pretty expensive thing to operate. Everything we keep out of that landfill is a taxpayer savings. Every time we sell some of this, we're generating revenue for the city. That benefits everybody. All the single stream recycling collected in the city comes here to be separated, baled, and then sold as a raw material to be made into something new. Here's a quick look at how the recycling center works. The process, of course, begins with the citizens. We ask them to recycle. They put it in their blue bin instead of a trash can. Truck comes by, picks it up, brings it here, dumps it here in this pile. It goes through the system, it's separated, it's baled for sale, and at that point, it's manufactured into new materials. What's the volume of recyclables that you're capturing every year? Three. 1,300 tons is what we got last year. That is up by 100% over the year before that just because of opening the new center. And also we have a pilot program going on in Columbus where we passed out 95-gallon uh, recycling containers. That 100% increase has actually been due to those large containers uh, and the little bit of publicity that we got opening the new center. So you got to your 100% increase, it sounds like just by really raising awareness and a little education. There's one more unique aspect to this operation, and that's that you're operating this facility as a public-private partnership with Pratt Industries. How is that benefiting the city? It benefits the city in a few different ways. Uh, number one, they're marketing all of the recyclables. It's their responsibility to find the end markets to sell it to. Another big thing is we built the building. We run the facility, but Pratt installed all of the sorting equipment at the tune of $2.4 million. Anytime something goes wrong with this equipment, then of course we call Pratt, they send somebody, they fix it. The current diversion rate is 6.5%. Our goal, which is attainable, is 40%. It's gonna require more people to recycle and we're gonna do all we can to make that happen. How would you encourage someone to start recycling? All they need to do is call 311 and ask to get a blue bin to recycle. And it's a simple choice. Do I throw it in the trash can or do I throw it in the recycle bin? Citizens of Columbus, you make the most important decision in this process when you choose to recycle or not. You decide whether this material costs you money going into a landfill or helps generate revenue for your community. Choosing to recycle. That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. 
For more information about recycling in Columbus, or to visit the Recycling and Sustainability Center, visit our website at columbusga.org. And to request your recycling container, call 311.